All right, we're at the Holy Bridge. So we're gonna move around here. Well, I'll show you guys um, this stuff here. There's a sword in this pedestal here. And what'll happen is every time we move, there's always gonna be swords and pedestals. With the exception of one, which we'll get to. So we'll just keep going right. So this one doesn't have one. So now what we can do is use the Sword of Fury, and that's gonna help somehow. There's a huge bright flash. Something happened. Oh look, a door. In we go. Now, there's actually a terrible glitch that you can run into here, and I found out the hard way. If you use Makiri for this fight, you can accidentally send this Medusa head flying off the screen, like, forever, to the point where it'll never come back, and the only thing that you can do is actually, like, commit suicide to restart this fight. Okay, so her body doesn't do anything. Can I stand on this? No, of course not. Why would I be able to do such things? Okay, I feel like I need to cast Makiri. That might help. Maybe not. She gets me. Um. Where'd she go? So I was like, oh man, like what just happened? Was that supposed to happen? Like where did her head go? And then sure enough, when I was streaming it, somebody looked it up for me and it's a pretty, it's a pretty serious glitch, I would say, because if you didn't know, you know. You could just be fighting this fight forever and never quite uh, make it out again. Okay, can I just kill you now? All the other fights recently have just been so easy. Okay, let me see if I can get Mars out here. There we go. Shouldn't take too much more. But we're not doing the greatest in this fight, so so who knows. There we go. Awesome, we got the mirror. Kick it with my foot. So I guess we'll keep moving right, because I think we're just moving in a circle. Until we find the exit again. Which who knows where it is? Okay, there it is. Right on. Come here, clown head friend. So now that we have the mirror, I guess what we should probably do is go and see that nice lady again. I wonder if it's worthwhile at this point to head back up to see that dude. I don't know that it is. So we'll just keep going and we'll go see the princess lady. I think it's this set of steps here. Dr. Mirror, are you finally going to tell us something nice, you lady? One can only help. Check it out. Cain takes the sacred mirror. You got the mirror. I get everything everybody asks me for. What else do you want from me? Please tell me how to kill the Dark Lord. 
There's only one way to kill the Dark Lord. You, Kane, must do it yourself. Huh? Me? That's what I said. You received a gift of increased power earlier, but you do not yet know your true capacity for strength. Now face your destiny as a spellcaster. Awaken the Serpent God and call his power unto yourself. The Serpent has much energy. Concentrate the energy using the Sacred Mirror. Use the Sword of Kusanagi to draw the power into yourself. That mystic power, along with everything you have learned, will give you the strength to defeat the Dark Lord. If your heart remains pure. Cain, everyone is awaiting your victory. I go to my destiny. Cain mounts the Amino and heads for Summit Temple. Now at Summit Temple. Cain, here is the Sword of Branches. Cain takes the sword. Hurry, Cain, the Dark Lord awakens. Leave the harp here, it will be of no further use. Yes, Dicac. Count on me, I shall not fail. Hurry and stop the revival of the Dark Lord. Alright, so you have two choices here. And just as a word of warning, when I first played this, I went to Izumo first to see Spaghetti Friend, which was great, because you kind of want to do that anyways. But what I didn't do was get a password. And that was a problem, because as soon as you go to the other option, you go to the end of the game, and then you get locked in a battle sequence and you can never escape again. So if you die a couple of times and accidentally use up all your magic, guess what? You can't beat the game unless you do like a perfect run, which is practically impossible to do. So, what I would recommend, and what I'm going to do for you guys here, just in case something like that happens to you, I'm going to get you guys a password before we go to the end of the game. So, we'll use password here. Kane calls down a password. The wise Kanjitin speaks to Kane. This password will give you the power to call yourself back from the land of the dead. Alright, so this is a good password, and this is going to be the password that will bring you to this point in the game with all the things that I currently have. So that is going to be incredibly useful for some people, probably. Um, and I'm sure that there are other passwords online too that would bring you to the end with like 999 magic, which is what I needed to use in my stream because I screwed myself by accident. But anyway, for anybody that's interested in that, that's what that is. Okay, to Kashima Temple we go. You might recall this from earlier in the game. The Dark Lord has already begun to wake. So we're going to use our Sword of Branches here. Cain swings the sword and cuts the cornerstone. Doo -doo. See you later. I can feel terrific energy pouring forth. The energy begins to take the form of a snake. The Serpent God. Isn't this cool? This is like one of my favorite things in the whole game. It's beautiful. Alright, so what did they say? Use the mirror first. Cain throws the sacred mirror at the Serpent God. The energy of the Serpent God fills the mirror. And now we're going to use our sword. Cain raises the sword of Kusanagi. The energy of the Serpent God flows into Cain. Blah! Yeah, that's how I would feel too. The true power within Cain is called forth. Cain, quick, to the final battle with the Dark Lord. And suddenly we're in a shmup. No, you are not seeing something out of the ordinary. Maybe something uninspected. I laughed out loud forever when I saw this the first time. <laughs> I was like, really? What just happened? Anyways, we're going to have a little fight here. We're going to do our best to make it. I doubt that we'll have a flawless victory, of course. But essentially, 
you gotta fight a bunch of dudes and then go fight the final boss. We have lots of energy here. This boss is probably, for me anyway, the worst. Probably one of the hardest. I mean, it is a skull pelvis with wings and like <laughs> an angry knight's helmet, essentially. But yeah, you, we have one more little mini boss to do. And then it kind of turns into like bullet hell shmup time. So you just gotta kill all these guys in a timely fashion. There we go. Now it's important to watch your health here. You want to make sure that you don't get smoked by this next section because essentially it's bullet hell. It is possible to die. Trust me. I died many times. It was kind of terrible. So this is actually super neat. You're actually flying up towards the Dark Lord who is like this giant beastly entity. And like you can still use your magics here. Things like Mars we're gonna need. I just don't want to put it on and then accidentally use it too much because I don't want to run out of healing power for the end of the game here. Now those big balls that are getting thrown out of that angry toothy head there, those take off quite a bit of damage. So if you're gonna avoid anything, make sure to avoid those. Avoid those the most, I guess. That's my best piece of advice for you. Okay, we're getting kind of low on health and relatively close to the end. So I'm just going to get Mars ready. So now you got three giant ball heads here that are trying to wreck you all at the same time. There we go. We just healed up because we definitely needed that. Okay. Now it's time to kill... I guess you have to kill the two smaller heads first. It doesn't take too much. And now we can kill the main head! Ah! Take that. I'm sure if we used some of our magic, it would be good. And again, they kind of obscure your health a little bit here. But it's worth keeping a look. Keeping an eye on it. Just in case. We have lots of energy left over. What a nice change. And there we go. We have murdered the crap out of the Dark Lord. Whee! The evil lord and his armies have been defeated. But as long as suffering exists, the threat that the Dark Lord will return remains. Well, that sounds like they're setting up for a sequel. You must strive to relieve that suffering. The road ahead of you is long, hard, and endless. You must not pause, but journey ever onward. For that is your destiny, Master of Spells. This game should be called Spell Master. And now for a wonderful Sega Master System ending. I love these so much. It's almost like a blessing and a curse, eh? The dawn of a new day for somebody who's forever meant to be protecting the world. Pretty cool though. This is gorgeous. This looks like PC worthy almost. But yeah, it's quite lovely. And that, my friends, as they say, is that. That brings us to the end of this Let's Play of Spellcaster for the Sega Master System. This game is incredibly different, and though I originally thought it was a combination of point and click and action platforming, it's also a shmup a little bit. So that was a nice twist at the end there. And I really hope, as usual, that you guys have enjoyed this particular playthrough. And if
if you're gonna play it through yourselves, I hope that you do have a lot of fun with it. It was actually a really great game. So, hopefully you enjoyed it, and again, I'm gonna keep doing some more of these Sega Master System games. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.